Okay, y'all, so I just wanted to say this quickly. Um, there are a lot of people out here who have experienced church hurt, who have experienced terrible things that have happened to them in the church, and I have a message for those people. Although what happened to you and what people have done in the church was definitely wrong, and it's uncalled for, but at the end of the day, I want to ask you a question. Who do you put your trust in? I've been church hurt before, and it was definitely devastating. But one of the things that the Holy Spirit led me to do after I began to be, after I got church hurt, was get in His Word quickly, quickly. And the beautiful thing that God showed me is that man will fail me every time, but God won't. And if I love God and I want to do things His way, I have to understand that. I must love people and I can't let the flaws of man keep me from loving people and also keep me from loving his church because he loves them and he died for them so I also too have to learn to do that. I know people who have literally left the church and they've been gone from the church for years all because of one person and to those people I want to tell you you have robbed yourself of truly learning the beauty the beauty of love and I do understand in some circumstances certain things take time for things to be rectified but know this that the church that you came from that's not the only church that God has in this planet and don't let religious rules like saying oh don't church hop keep you from actually church hopping to find a community of people that are God-fearing and truly want to live want to live for God and love God's people they're out there and it took me to church hop um, to finally find a community of people that really are serious about their walk with Christ they're out there I'm a firm believer that God will meet his children where they are even when they are not looking for him but I'm also a firm believer that we too need to seek God it says seek me while I can be found what am I saying I'm saying this that there are times where you have to seek God also because while you're seeking him you will find what you're looking for you will find that happiness this relationship with God is not a one-way street totally it's a two-way street and a lot of what you're looking for a lot of your happiness a lot of your answers will be answered by seeking him so if you feel lost if you feel depressed if you feel like you're in the same cycles in life i would challenge you to please seek the lord and if your church hurt don't let that be the last church that you visit